So hi, and welcome to the final part of Desert Treasure 2 after you've just obtained your final medallion. But before going to the vault to try to complete the quest, we will be ambushed by the mysterious stranger who has been threatening us throughout the quest. The easiest way to defeat it is to use melee and ranged. You will need to bring two combat styles as the figure changes overhead prayers once every three hits you deal. I suggest you to bring your best in slot melee armor that you can afford to tank the ranged and melee hits while camping protect from magic. Bring also a slower ranged weapon to be able to deal damage three times so that the overhead will change to missiles and you can go back to using melee. I would also suggest you to bring a super restore potion as the boss will drain your magic and defense levels making its magic attacks slap harder the longer the fight takes place if you don't restore it back up. And as for the rest of the infantry, that can simply be some decent food. So here at the bank, angler up, and then let's make our way to the ancient vault. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to bang the battle mage. I think we will be fine. Keep going northeast to the ancient vault. And because the mysterious stranger cannot access the ancient vault, it will finally be smart and booby trap the door in front of it. Let's just simply click on the vault. And you will be taken to an underground temple. Once you're in here, let's search the bed for a hairpin and then open the gate. You already know what to do. Once you've unlocked the gate, let's go to the eastern room and search the northern chest to get your stuff back. Except for the medallion. To get the medallion back, we will need to go west into the western room and start the boss fight by inspecting the altar. But this room is teleblocked and to be able to leave, if you run out of food for example and you want to leave before dying, they will need to click on the red barrier similar to this portal. If you've happened to die or leave the fight, then re-gear at the bank to try again. And afterwards, we will need to make our way south of Anacris Temple, south of the quarry mine, north of Tempros. Here we'll find a portal to the underground temple. Once we enter, the fight will start again. Once you think you are ready for the boss fight, let's inspect the altar. Just whip him three times and then bolt him three times. Just count your hits and it should automatically swap prayers. If you're getting stunned or frozen, simply move at least one tile.
Right, once you have defeated the mysterious stranger, you'll have your final medallion back. Let's leave the barrier, because this place is still teleblocked. Right, let's make our way to the bank to prepare for the actual end boss fight. Because you could compare the four Desert Treasure 2 bosses to Vorkath from Dragon Slayer 2. But some might think that Galvec is much, much more difficult. So that is what we are going to be up against next, but completely differently. Because next, we will have to defeat four more demi-bosses, one after another. And this is the gear I will be using. This is my best in slot melee armor for the highest ranged defense and melee strength. Three out of the four demi-bosses are weakest to slash attacks, so I'll be using a whip. The fourth one, however, is weakest to ranged, and should be kited around the room. You could use ranged only to kill all four demi-bosses if you have tanky ranged equipment and a strong weapon. But since I don't have that, I'll use melee and I will do a two-way switch to ranged for the final demi-boss. As for the inventory, I have my blowpipe, which can just as easily be replaced by bronze knives or darts. It is only used to kill clones, which have 1 HP. Then I also have a DDS as my slash special attack weapon, a crossbow and a D height top switch for the fourth demi boss. Then also Narda or Fairy Ring DLQ teleports equal to the amount of failures you do here. Two prayer potions should be enough, and I would also bring two brews so you can use it to triple heal in a single tick. And since I'm bringing brews, I will also bring a super restore as brews lower your offensive stats. For the rest of the inventory, bring some good food and maybe also Koram one for the double or triple heals in a single tick. And last but not least, on your very first attempt, be sure to bring your fourth medallion. Well, this can be banked, so you probably will have it in your inventory right now. Now, before going to the ancient vault and start our four demi boss fights, I would suggest you to drink a dose of super combat, ranging, stamina, and finally also a dose of antidote, as that one makes you immune to poison between 6 and 15 minutes, depending on the one used. Only the first of the four bosses will be able to poison you. So drinking a dose of super anti or a regular antidote should be enough time for you to kill the first demi boss out of the four. That is it for the explanations of the inventory and the equipment. When you think you are ready, let's head to the ancient vault and start a cutscene. On our way there, let's set up our quick prayers to piety and protect from missiles. Then I would also suggest you to turn off auto retaliate as that makes the second boss less annoying. And also turn on game sound effects so you can hear the sound cue when the special attack of the second demi boss is about to launch. Once you've reached the vault, enter it to trigger two cutscenes. And once you are in the vault, go down the steps to trigger another cutscene. And after that cutscene is over, this will trigger the first demi boss out of the four. In my opinion, also the easiest.
The first one is the Assassin from the Secrets of the North quest. Simply use Protect from Missiles while slashing the Assassin. But just like in the Secrets of the North quest, the Assassin needs to stand in a white cloud to be able to be damaged. If you stand in a purple cloud, then you will take damage and heal the Assassin. So be sure to not do that. And as for the special attack, it is similar to the Secrets of the North quest. You will need to take a close look to the Assassin and wait for the animation of it starting to throw a vial at you. The Assassin will throw three vials consecutively. Move every time to avoid getting poisoned, as well as taking over 30 damage each vial. I also do not suggest you to use any of your special attacks on this first demi-boss. The second one is Ketla the Unworthy. Continue to use slash weapons and protect from missiles. Ketla itself has two special attacks. One will summon clones and these will deal chip damage up to 7 each clone. Use knives or darts to quickly get rid of all the clones, but two nearest ones near the main body. Keep those two alive. The second special attack is queued via a chime audio, as well as a vengeance skull above Ketla. Once you hear the chime, immediately move behind a clone until the special attack is launched. If you get hit by this special attack, then you will take up to 40 damage. Once you hear that the special attack is getting launched by a different sound effect, start to continue slashing Ketla. I also suggest to use half your special attack bar on this demi boss to defeat it as fast as possible to reduce the taken chip damage from the clones. The third one is Cassandia again. Continue to use your slash weapon, but change your overhead prayer to protect from melee. Fight Cassandia north or south from the center carpet to have the vials thrown away from the center. Cassandia also has two specials. One, it will throw a vial quickly at you. Either pay close attention and be tick perfect to avoid it, or keep moving while attacking Cassandia. I use the latter one. The vial will also leave a permanent pink puddle. Do not stand in it, else you'll take constant damage and it will also corrupt you. The second special is when Cassandi sprints to the center. Follow it immediately and stand in the area without any shadows. The most annoying part is when the lightning stops and you will continue to fight in the center of the room. Do not do so, else the center of the area will start having a lot of puddles and you will not be able to avoid either the puddles or the lightning attacks and you will get constant damaged. Use your remaining half spec bar to defeat Kasani as fast as possible before the entire room is a pink puddle. The final one is Purston. Activate Protect from Magic as well as Eagle Eye and then switch to your ranged weapon and armor. Purston also has two specials. One is the lightning attack. Similarly to the Cassandros fight, Simply avoid the shadows. The second one is opening portals to the abyss, which will spawn leeches that deal 5 damage per tick per leech if they reach you. Once the leeches are here in the room, run away to the furthest corner of the room while attacking person. Continue attacking person until the leeches have reached you. Then move to the next corner while attacking person. Keep moving from corner to corner until the quest is completed. You could try to destroy the portals before the leeches have spawned, but I don't have the DPS for that. And the portals will be reopened after a couple of seconds anyway.
I get it. I get it. You need a kite. You need a kiter. You need a kite. Fuck the portals. The portals are a waste of time. No, 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 no. Don't die now. You can't. I get it. Yes. Okay. Now I can make a tutorial. Now I can make a guide. You need a crossbow and kite the leeches. Okay. Quest completed. Congratulations, you've completed the Desert Treasure 2 quest. You are awarded with 3 XP lamps, granting 100,000 experience each in every single combat stat, including prayer, as well as all the 4 bosses which dropped the 4 medallions. You can kill those over and over again for some ring upgrades, as well as a ring of shadows. And with this ring, you can teleport directly to those four bosses once you've received the tablet from them. So I guess everyone is gonna be putting it on prayer. That is five, three, one. Okay, five, three, one. Great. Oof, this was rough. Okay, thanks, bye. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, fall the son of a bitch! Oh no! That was so fucking close! Son of a-